Hello everyone and welcome to S3 Bubble. In this tutorial I'm going to be taking you through the new S3 Bubble WordPress backup plugin. Now a lot of things are changing with the S3 Bubble service. Uh, we're adding lots and lots more security features. So the way things were set up before, they're all going to change and everything's going to change over to secure applications. And this is so you'll have bulletproof security and you'll have full control over the read, write and permissions of all your buckets and your S3 Bubble service. Okay. So to start off with, I'm just going to head over to the plugin admin. So after you've installed the plugin, you'll be given a menu item here, and then you'll be opened with the plugin admin here. Okay. So with a new service, you need to head over to S3 Bubble, and there's a new link here called Apps. Now Apps are going to be all the separate functions. Um, sorry, all the separate applications and plugins that will be linked via the S3 Bubble service. So we're going to be asking users to create their own plugins based off the applications and we're going to be providing a variety of applications based off the apps okay so to create a new app you can just come in here and we can click create a new app and this one's just going to be called s3 bubble plugin test okay so the description uh, wordpress blog backups so we just give it a quick description. Now the website's optional, you don't have to add that, and the callback URL is optional, you don't need to add that. So here comes the power. So there's going to be some more options here, but these are the ones we have the time being. So for this app, you can either give power admin access. That means they'll have access to the whole of the Amazon S3 and S3 bubble service. So they'll be able to read, write, and have full permissions over IAM users and all the Amazon services that they provide. Now S3 full access, this will allow read, write, and access to all the buckets um, within the service. Read-only access, you can create an app with read-only access. This will only allow people to read from your bucket, so they won't be able to upload or write to a bucket. They can literally just pull in information from the bucket. So these, this is the setting that we'll be using for the video streaming plugin um, that we have a pending update for. Now we're going to give S3 full access, and we can also um, specify it just for a bucket. So if we set if we put in a bucket name here, then the backup plugin would only have access to that bucket. So this user here, the app, would only have access to that bucket. Okay? So I'm hoping you can see now how secure this makes the whole service and how this is an amazing security feature that we're adding. Okay, so we're just going to give S3 full access for this app. Okay. Now we're going to create the application. Okay, now you're going to see we've got our application here. So when you have your new app, it's going to give you your app name, your app plugin, and here are your keys. So these are the keys that you'll be using that are specific for this app. So you have to take those two keys, paste them in here, this one in here, and paste them in here. Now you can enter your bucket name, or you can just click save, and as long as your keys are correct, you'll then have an option to select all your buckets here. Okay, so we're gonna have a, create a brand new bucket for this service, so this is gonna be called um, s3 bubble.wordpress.backup.test dot dot backup dot test okay so that's going to be our new bucket we're going to create that bucket and a success our new bucket has been added okay so let's just um, go over back over to our plugin and we're just going to find our new s3 bubble backup so it's called s3 bubble wordpress backup test okay so we can now save the changes again, and there you go, we're completely saved. We're successfully connected to Amazon S3. So let's head back over to our bucket here. So as you can see, we're in our brand new bucket here, and we have no data within this bucket. So we're going to be using this bucket to back up all our files and folders and the database from our WordPress installation. Okay. So let's just set some standard settings. I'm just going to set an email. Um, let's activate database scheduling will send a um, will actually send the backup as an attachment we'll run a database backup every hour just for testing it will run at the time passed and then obviously we're going to activate the file schedule backup and we'll just get that to run every day at 12 o'clock okay let's save changes okay great so you can see our Activation schedules are brand new and they're set here. So now we have a couple of other settings. So we're all set up now and ready to go with our plugin. Let's go over to our list and you'll see that our list is connected to the S3 bubble backup test um, 
bucket that's on S3 bubble, but we actually don't have any backup stored in that bucket yet. Okay, so we can go in and we can just create. Oh, okay, so it says here this is it's quite good that this happens. So this is in the WordPress tutorial. So this tells us that um, it hasn't managed to create this folder here. It was not created. Check permissions. Okay, so we can read this tutorial, but I'll actually show you how to do this now. So when we're in our folder we can just come straight over to our plugins folder now in s3 bubble backup test just, so all we need to do is download that got our backup here that's just now locally on our computer we pulled it out of the plugin that's got all the files we need and we can just head in to our WP um, content folder okay which is here and then let's just re-upload so you can see we've got our brand new S3 Bubble backup plugin here. Now you just need to set permissions on that plugin. So we set the permissions to 777. Okay, so there's full permissions. Now you might be thinking 777, why am I setting the permissions to this? Your backups aren't stored in this folder. As soon as they're back, as soon as the backup's complete, the upload is sent to S3 Bubble, stored on Amazon S3, and then they're deleted. You don't really want a big folder with all your backups stored because it would just completely um, cause a huge load on your server and you'll find that your actual file size just goes um, really high and then you'll struggle with complications with your hosting. Okay, So we've got our service there, so let's just refresh. Okay, now you'll see, great, we've got our new backups folder there which is available. We've got our files that have been created and this just says gzip isn't active which is fine. Okay. So we can just click create a database backup now. There we go, so let's successfully backed up. And there you go, we've got our first backup. Great, so we can then download that. We can install that on a different install. Now this isn't stored anywhere locally on your machine. It shows you that your local bytes folder is zero bytes. This is actually stored within Amazon S3, okay? So you can see the power of this. Everything is stored in the cloud. You always got access to this. If someone managed to hack your site and delete everything, you could then just download your SQL, re-upload, and you're not going to lose any of your data, which is really important. So let's do the same thing with files. So let's just generate a backup now. And this is just going to do a file backup. So there we go. Head over here. And great. You can see we've now got our file backup here. So everything's ordered by date. So you will know exactly when your backups are happening. Um, you'll be able to download this either directly here. So if I just show you quickly, do a download, and then this is our backup. And we've got all our plugins. You'll see that we'll have the backup plugin, all the themes, upgrade, uploads. So let's have all our photos, etc. So we're not going to lose any media within here. Now everything's going to be scheduled. So the schedule backup time is going to happen. So everything is scheduled. So your backup will run every hour. This will run every day. Now this will just build up. So you'll start to get a full list of all your backups. Now everything is completely private and secure. This is this is all generated with um, securely signed URLs. So um, yeah, start to use the plugin. Any troubles or any issues, we've got a link to our official forum. We've created a new forum for the actual backup plugin. So feel free to post on here. Um, if you find any bugs. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy using the Blackout plugin. Um, this is just the first uh, video tutorial. I'm doing some more video tutorials on actual site transfer and how to just take, so say if we wanted to take this site and we wanted to just install it on another host in upload the zip, install the MySQL database. So I'll be taking you through some of those tutorials in some of the up and coming um, episodes. So yeah, thank you very much.